run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So, I got a job lot from the auction that was like a toy job lot and uh, I paid £10 plus commission for it, which is like the minimum bid at the auction house I go. It's uh, I suppose it's a little bit more of an affluent auction house compared to some of the more general household auction houses where their minimum bids are like £2, £1, £5, etc. So it is a bit annoying because you can never get anything below that even if like certain lots aren't brilliant but there was this one lot this uh toy job lot kind of thing that i wasn't sure whether to go on or not because there wasn't huge uh, amounts of stuff in there or anything and obviously i'll show you it in a sec um but no one was bidding at 10 pound and i thought you know what i'll go on it and uh you know hopefully i make a little bit of money on it but i thought i'll just bid and uh and we'll see so what I'm going to do is share with you some of the items um, and you guys can determine whether I've done right or wrong with this one. Um, I think, I mean, obviously I'm going to make some money on it, but it's one of those lots, I think, that, and sometimes you do pick up these lots, you think, um, oh, you know, should I have bought it or shouldn't I? And sometimes you think to yourself, or, you know, you, you put yourself down a little bit because you're thinking, oh, you know, maybe I shouldn't have got that or whatever, but... The fact is, I'll still make some money on it, so I thought I'd share it with you guys, and uh, obviously you guys can decide for yourself whether you think it's a, a decent purchase or not. But with that being said, I will get on with the first item. So, first item is this, um, what is it? The Incredibles 2 proje Projection Power Kit, and I typed this into eBay. I could not find it on there. I don't even know why, um, but I literally couldn't find it on there. I then scanned it into Amazon, um, and I found it on there, but there's no sales rank on Amazon. Um, and on Amazon, it was at $12.99. I'm guessing that's the retail on it. Um, so what I'll probably do, I definitely won't send it into Amazon because it's not got a sales rank or anything, but I'll just whack it on eBay, probably around that $12.99, maybe plus my postage on. Um, and hopefully, obviously, someone will pick that off. But I don't know, maybe it's not got too much of a market for it because I'd say there's none on eBay already and on Amazon it's not got a sales rank, which is a little bit suspect. So, yeah, we'll see on that one. It is brand new and sealed, or I would imagine it's brand new and sealed because it's got these little bits of, uh, of tape on here and they look like they very much could be the factory seals. Yeah, I would, I would have said that that tape there is the factory seal um so yeah that's brand new and sealed anyway so it's just like a projection power kit i would have thought there might be a little bit more money in this because obviously the incredibles 2 hasn't come out that long ago what was it like last year or something so yeah i don't know it's, it's just odd that there's not much information out about this uh it's like nowhere nowhere to be found really except for that one little listing on amazon so yeah that's that one there anyway so next i've got this waddington's dentist game now obviously i'm gonna have to check if this is complete i've had a mixed kind of experience with uh board games at the auction house last time i got a job lot of board games do you remember that big stack of board board games i got probably in january or something um i had a pretty good um kind of bag with that it wasn't necessarily a mixed bag or anything pretty much all of those were complete but then in the past, I've had other job lots where um, it's been a bit more of a mixed bag or certain ones haven't been complete and stuff. So I'll have to double check that this is complete. If it is complete, it doesn't seem to go for a lot of money. One sold for like, I think it was ten ninety nine or something. Um, so not huge money, but still, it's going to get me some money back from the job lot. Um, so yeah, it's one I've not seen before as well. I've never seen this Waddington's Dentist. Um, so that made me think, oh, it might be a little bit more valuable because I've not seen it. But yeah, doesn't seem to be just pretty standard board game, really. So next in the box was this uh, big bag of uh, potato head parts, Mr. Potato Head. There's like four or maybe even five, I think four, um, like, you know, body parts, like the big body potato parts. And then loads of different accessories and stuff in there, you can see. There's more accessories at the bottom here. Now, I've not sold these in quite a while. 
I would imagine a bundle like this must be like 20 quid, you know, 20 quid plus postage or something. But as I say, I've not really sold these in that long, so I'd have to double check on these. I didn't do any research into this. Um, but I have sold bundles with, with less in than this before for about 15 to 20 quid, I think. But as I say, the market might be a little bit different now because that was a while ago. Um, so yeah, we'll see on those. But I think these are probably one of the best items out of the lot, really. So, um, you know, if I can get 20 quid for them, then I'm pretty pleased with that. Next, we have a TARDIS. Obviously, it's the uh, Tenant Eccleston TARDIS. I probably can't see him there very well. Um, but yeah, and it's the... I don't I don't know whether it's the uh, is it do we call it the flight control TARDIS? I think it's the flight control TARDIS. I'm not sure, but it's not. When I turn it on and off, it's not got any juice in it. So yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, there's a battery compartment there, so hopefully one, once I open that, put some new batteries in, it'll be working. Um, although I don't know because sometimes some of these TARDISes just don't work for whatever reason. But I think I could still sell it even if it doesn't work with, like, if I bundle it up with a couple of figures. I'm sure I've got a couple of figures lying around. Um, so if I bundle it up with a couple of figures, I can still probably just sell it and someone would have it for display. Obviously, I'd mentioned that it wasn't working. I think if it works, I think if you bundle it with, like, um, Rose and the Doctor, you'd probably get about 20 quid for it. So, um, yeah, if it does work, there should be some money in that. If not... I reckon even bundled with another couple of figures, even if it doesn't work, it should be about a tenner. So, yeah, pretty happy with that one anyway, so that's pretty decent. This was in here. I did a quick bit of research on this before. It's less than a tenner, so don't really know what I'm going to do with that. I'll either charity shop it or car boot it or something, put it in a car boot pile and just get a couple of quid back out of it. But, yeah, I'm probably not going to list it because it's less than a tenner. But kind of knew that when I saw it. I thought, oh, yeah, it's probably not going to be worth my while listing it. This thing was in the lot, weirdly enough, which has no relation to toys whatsoever. Now, it's some sort of, um, I'm guessing like army regiment or something. I don't know whether you can see that there, but there's loads of different... I'm going to try and get it a little bit closer, actually. Loads of different people. It must be like a battalion or a regiment or something. I'm not sure what the, the exact term is, but um, yeah, and it's in this frame. It's a I suppose it is a little bit loose, actually, in the frame. Um, but it just seems to be some sort of, I don't know, photograph on paper or something. So I'm not sure whether it's really valuable or anything, but I mean, I suppose I could just whack it on at like 15 or 20 quid and see if anyone, if anyone buys it. Um... But yeah, it just seems to be like a photograph in a frame, really. So, um, not too sure on that one, but there's certainly going to be some money in it. I'm sure someone would have it for 15 or 20 quid. Um, I've just got to obviously do a bit of research into, like, what this regiment or battalion or whatever is. Because, um, obviously, I'd, I wouldn't know even how to list it. I wouldn't know what words to even use in the title if I didn't know that. So... Yeah, that's that one. Bit of an odd one to find in a toy job, like, actually, but it was randomly on, on top of the box. Because the box was basically, like, overflowing um, where, you know, when I was viewing it at the auction house. But, yeah, that was just randomly on top of the box. So, that's that one there, anyway. We've got this little bear. He doesn't seem to be anyone special. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a generic tag on there. I don't know whether you can see that. It's not got any brand or anything on there, I don't think. Um, but he's in a little monk's outfit. I don't think it's going to really be worth my while listing unless I could get some sort of bundle together with soft toys um, when maybe I find some more like this one. But I've never even found one in like a monk's outfit or whatever he even is, whatever this outfit is. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might just put him in car boot pile or something. Then we've got a couple of these dolls. Now this one looks like one of those uh, Disney dolls. You know, we did those, those Disney plastic dolls, but I can't find... Like anything that says Disney on it, there's no there's no place where where there's a Disney. It's really odd. Like there's just nowhere on the dot. Maybe back of the head. Ah, wait, yeah, yeah. Back of the head it says uh, copyright Disney. So yeah, it must be one of those Disney dolls. Obviously, it's a licensed one. So I don't know. There might be something in that because I, I have seen some of these dolls um, on eBay before. I don't know uh, whether certain ones go for like decent money or whether other ones don't go for as decent money. But I'm sure. There's some of these that do go for over a tenner, so if I'm lucky, this one might be uh, around a tenner. If it's not, if it's like well under a tenner, then it can probably just go in a car boot pile or something again. Because uh, I'm I'm just not bothering, you know. I, I don't bother listing. So if if things are like 
five, six quid or whatever. I'm just not listing it. It's not necessarily worth my time packaging it up and stuff. You know, it's arguable It's arguable if uh, even £10 items are, are worth my while at this point, really. And I am starting to try and slowly get into more 15 and £20 items and up, um, rather than the £10 items as well, because it is like, um, you know, you think to yourself, right, if I want to do, let's say, £100 a day, then that's 10 10 pound items isn't it whereas it would only be five 20 pound items so or, or if it's if you're doing five pound items that's 20 five pound items so that's kind of my logic behind it. i'm trying to just get a bit um you know higher sort of value in terms of average selling price and average list price so yeah it's just not really worth my while so i like you know maybe i could bundle these two up i'm not sure maybe i could bundle these two up but this one isn't a plastic one this is like a different one i don't know whether it's disney or not if this is disney then maybe i could no there's no disney on it so yeah not sure really not sure what i'll do with them maybe car boot pile and then there is this old leather belt now this might be worth listing i've never really dealt with belts before so i wouldn't be able to give you a price but this looks like it could be worth listing i'm, I'm assuming it's leather anyway i don't know it might not be genuine leather but um yeah that might be worth something because some, I know some belts do actually do really well. Like there's certain belts that you can get really good money for. So, yeah, I mean, as I say, I've not really had them before, but I have seen that certain belts can do well. So, yeah, not sure about that, but it was just in the box. It could be like just a... It's obviously not a modern toy one because the modern toy belt kind of thing, you know, like cowboy belts and stuff, will be really cheap, like, uh, material. Um, but it might be, like, an, a vintage uh, kid's toy one or something. But even so, even if it's just that, I think they would still go for some money at least. Um, but, yeah, so that's that one there anyway. And then finally, this Action Man game. Now, I thought this might be worth a little bit more than it is. It's uh, the Action Man. Yeah, it's just the Action Man game. Got a little bit of writing and stuff from some kids on here uh, when we've had it in the past, of course. Um, but yeah, it seems one sold recently for 17 quid, which is more like what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe I could get 20 quid for it. But then another one sold for like 12 quid, so... I suppose it's kind of in that 12 to 17 pound range. Maybe I could put it on for 14.99 plus a bit of postage and uh, hopefully it'll go for that. Um, but yeah, I was, I was a little bit underwhelmed when I saw, you know, a few a few were listed for 12 quid and one had sold for 12 quid. But as I say, one has, has sold for higher than that. So maybe I could just go a little bit higher than the ones that are currently listed at 12 quid and go for maybe 15 quid and see. Um, but yeah, another one again, I'll have to make sure this is complete um, and hopefully it is. And then obviously I could charge a 14.99. If not, I'm sure I could either sell it for parts or... I could, you know, just charge a little bit less, um, even if there's a couple of bits missing or something. Um, so, yeah, that's that one, and that is pretty much everything. So, you know, I don't think I've done terribly out of this job lot, but this is, like, one of the jobs. Let's say out of this entire job lot, like, sales value, I've probably got, what, like, 70 quid there or something, like, around that, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Um, out of, like, what, a £13 purchase, it's not terrible, but considering that I've got like seven items or eight items that I've got to list, generally out of like a ten pound job lot now, like I, I've got, I had those papers for ten pound, which I got four hundred quid out of in terms of sales value, um, you know, or listed value. I've had other ten pound job lots that I've got over a hundred pound worth of value out of. So something like this, yes, I'm going to make profit on it. Yes, okay, it's maybe not as bad as, as sometimes I may feel it is, you know, in cer certain aspects when I'm picking up £10 job lots and I think, oh, I might not get as much out of that as possible. It's maybe not as bad as I first thought it was, but to me, it does just give me a little bit of a sense of, of deflation because thinking, oh, you know, I really would have liked £100 out of this or, or, or however much. So, yeah, considering, you know, I'm go I've got to do a fair bit of listing to get this stuff listed and stuff. So, yeah, anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think it was worth going on for 10 quid? Do you think that there's enough profit in there and the work to kind of profit is okay? Or do you think that maybe, mm, you know, I would have probably left it kind of thing? But, you know, 
that's what you do. You have a few good, like, really good lots at auction, and then you have a few things that you pick up, and you're like, maybe I shouldn't have picked that up, but there's still some profit there. So, anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Um, don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or queries, please do drop them down below in the comments below. And what's the other thing I normally say? Oh, yes. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. And uh, I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys. I'll give you what I got. The alcohol of that is flowing wild. So grab yourself a